the brazen killing of NCP leader and ex-Maharashtra minister Baba Siddiqui, famous for his iftar parties and strong connections in Bollywood, just as he stepped outside his Emily Sanzishan's Mumbai office, has put the spotlight back on the symbiotic relationship between the showbiz and the underworld. Turns out, Siddiqui may have been targeted by gangster Lawrence Bishnoi because of his proximity to actor Salman Khan. Bishnoi, a gangster from Punjab, currently lodged in a Gujarat jail, is the prime accused of the sensational killing of Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala in 2022. Bishnoi gained notoriety for threatening Salman Khan over the actor's poaching of two black buck antelopes, a revered species for Rajasthan's Bishnoi community that Lawrence belongs to, in 1998. Siddiqui's killing or threat to Salman Khan are not isolated incidents. Here are some other instances of celebrities coming in the crosshairs of the underworld with cases of extortion, threats and even killing. Music company T-Series' boss Gulshan Kumar would visit a Shiva temple in Mumbai's Andheri every morning and evening. On 12th August 1997, he went to the temple, prayed for 15 minutes, made his offerings, and on his way back, he was fired at by three assailants as he was opening his car door. He was declared brought dead to the Cooper Hospital. Kumar had received threat calls just days ahead of his killing. In April 2024, gunshots were fired outside the residence of actor Salman Khan. Two shooters reportedly belonging to the Bishnoi gang were later arrested. Lawrence Bishnoi had first threatened to kill Khan during a court appearance in the Black Buck poaching case in Jodhpur in 2018. Since then, the star has received multiple threats to his life. And after Baba Siddiqui's murder, security around the actor has been upgraded. In January 2000, two assailants shot at actor and filmmaker Rakesh Roshan near his office after the success of his 2000 movie Kahuna Pyare which marked the acting debut of his son Ritik. The assassination attempt was linked to the underworld after he reportedly refused to pay extortion money. One bullet hit his left arm and the other grazed his chest. Roshan was somehow able to get to his car and drive to the Santa Cruz police station. From there he was then rushed to the Nanavati hospital. In October 2023, Bollywood actor Shah Rukh Khan was given white plus security cover by the Maharashtra government in light of the threats to his life. The actor has had many run-ins with the Mumbai underworld and is known for standing up to the threats. The actor was reportedly threatened by gangster Abu Saleem on multiple occasions in the 1990s. In 2001, actor and entrepreneur Preeti Zinta publicly shared her experiences of receiving threats after speaking out against underworld involvement in the Hindi film industry during legal proceedings related to her 2001 film Chori Chori Chupke Chupke. The film's producer Naseem Rizvi and financier Bharat Shah had landed in jail for receiving funds from the underworld. Zinta told a court in Mumbai that she received calls asking for rupees 50 lakh. In the 1980s, media reports of a romantic relationship of actor Mithun Chakraborty with co-actor Mandakini allegedly did not go down well with gangster Daud Ibrahim, who was reportedly himself deeply infatuated with Mandakini. Despite both actors dispelling these rumors, Mithun reportedly received death threats from Daud's men, and eventually had to turn to his friend and actor Sanjay Dutt, who was known to have links with the underworld. that intervened and ensured that Mithun was unharmed but reportedly also advised him to severe professional ties with Mandakini as a result the most sought after on-screen pair of the 1980s stopped doing films together <laughs>